King of Malaysia's son Abdul Jewel died at 25. It was a significant loss for the royal family as he was loved by his subjects and gave the kingdom hope. Many were surprised by the prince's death. Why was this fate so awful and what killed him? Finish the video to find out. Let's start. First subscribe to our channel. Johor is one of Malaysia's richest states. One local ruler was emperor and the ruling dynasty has ruled for centuries. A Johor royal was elected king of Malaysia in January 2024. Sultan Ibrahim, one of the country's richest, is estimated to be worth 5.7 billion. He has one daughter and five kids, one of whom will always be known as Malaysia's soul king. This royal family had a son in July 1990. His name was Abdul Jil, meaning Almighty Servant. His parents loved and hoped for him in Arabic. They thought their son will become a state pillar for the people and kingdom in the near future. Noble and wealthy children don't always meet expectations. Many spend because status dazzles. Thrifts. Prince Abdul Jalil showed that kings' sons must be pompous egoists. Indeed, his entire brief life was spent helping the people. His subjects revered him as a near-perfect prince. After finishing secondary and high school in Jaho, Abdul Jal became interested in zoology. He was a simple reptile caretaker at the Singapore Zoo for a year. Being captivated by animal life, the prince decided to study at the Zoological Society of London. The prince graduated with honors from Great Britain after two years and returned to his motherland as the Sultan's son. Despite a state administration offer, Abdul Jalil followed his calling. The Orangutan Rehabilitation Center in Kabil Sepak Forest Reserve taught him zoology. The prince grew up to realize that animals and people required protection. Abdul Jalil regularly sponsored medical charities and the Malaysian Red Crescent Society. His royal heritage allowed him to amass large sums and distribute them to the needy, when he turned 21, the prince stunned his relatives by changing his life drastically. Abdul Il joined the police to defend people. His Royal Malaysian Police Training Center enrollment earned him an inspector level and police department employment after a year. The prince loved being a police officer, so a few months later he surprised everyone even more. Malaysian Special Forces Elite Special Actions Unit trained Abdul Jal. After passing the arduous tests, he joined the anti-terrorist unit at 23. This made him the only Malaysian royal to join the police special forces. From 20 on, the prince loved sailing. Luxury vessels were unfamiliar to him. He managed modest sailboats. His purpose was to get kids into sailing. To achieve this, he organized two major programs to teach over 5,000 poor citizens to sail and compete. Abdul Jia founded Liga Layer Malaysia, a cash prize sailing regatta series at 23. The regattas boosted sailing interest and discovered talented athletes. They won prestige international races and trained new sailors, a nature protector, a great athlete, and a fierce special forces officer. The smiling prince, the people's king of souls, combined all this. He was expected to succeed, but a devastating prognosis dashed his expectations. Stage 4 Liver Cancer It was revealed in late 2014 when the prince was over 24. He was almost symptomatic early on, but then he lost weight, had swelling, and pain. Nevertheless, he worked daily at the Malaysian Red Crescent Society. He was Charity Vice President. The devastating diagnosis coincided with Malaysia's worst flooding. Tens of thousands of homes were flooded by unusually high monsoon rains. Nearly 200,000 individuals had been evacuated from the disaster region, many in anguish and knowing they were terminally ill. Abdul Jal stayed at his post until the Red Crescent decreased casualties and saved as many people as possible. Massive effort finally harmed Prince's health. Sultan Ibrahim almost forced his son to the hospital. Although the prince was treated by the top specialists in Malaysia and China, time was running short. The last hope was a liver transplant. The Sun Yasin University in Guang, China performed this surgery successfully. Unfortunately, Abdul Jalil was only temporarily spared. His final six months, Prince knew he was doomed and received only very supportive therapy. He kept his spirits up and even pranked the staff in the hospital. Video of the prince jokingly hiding from operations and laughing with the nurse went viral. This bright man's strength of spirit impressed spectators more than his humor. Early December 2015 saw 25-year-old Iljil die. Cancer murdered the prince and Malaysia mourned. 
tens of thousands of people gathered at the royal palace to bid goodbye to the prince. The police captain's sword on Abdul Jules' casket symbolized his sacrifice to defend regular people. After prayers, the prince was buried at the Udiya Royal Masam, and his father, Sultan Ibrahim, promised to support all cancer patients in Malaysia. The monarch honorably kept his word. The state capital Johor Bar houses Southeast Asia's best cancer center. It was named Kula Mana Johor for the prince. Abdul Jalil was mocked by royals as Lamana Malai for Admiral. Fight like Jalil is the center's motto. This modern clinic treats 7,000 Malaysian cancer patients annually. Some say doctors save lives. They ease others' misery. This wouldn't have happened without Abdul Il inspiring his father to construct a cancer center. The prince salves people after his death, which is symbolic. Many aristocratic descendants turned to hedonism, drink, and wasteful luxury after empty lives. They left no nice memories or constructive legacy. Lucky for Prince Abdul Jul, his story stands out against such short lives. He helped many of his subjects, that's why Malaysians will always remember him as the Seoul King. What do you think of this sad tale? Leave a comment. Like and subscribe to our channel if you liked the video. See you shortly.